Hi, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you some nail artwork or nail you can art do this design. with a few different colored nail polishes and a few brush strokes and then you're all done. This is a geometric design. It is really easy and I'm going to show you how easy it is. So I'm going to get started. The nail polishes I'm going to be using this one is called the CQ and it is in silver violet. And I'm going to use the silver violet all over the nail. This is our first color right here. And as you can see, I've already started. It's nice and dry. And I recommend that you let the each step dry fully before you continue on to the next. Polishes dry really fast and it shouldn't take you very long. The next color I'm going to be using is by Sally Hansen HD and this color design. is called Cyber. So we want to start at the corner and just bring the color all, all the way across the nail. And it's going to look really messy but you'll be able to clean it up as you go along. This is the first application. You just want to lay down the groundwork for your next application of color. Don't worry if your lines don't look straight guys, don't worry about that because we're going to fix that with um, the silver nail polish during our final step. So it should look something like this and don't forget to just run the brush across the edges just so that you can Make sure that your color is going all the way over. So we're going to let this dry for a few minutes and then we'll come back and finish up. My next color nail polish I'm going to be using is by Milani and this color is Black Cherry. And we're going to pick up some of that Black Cherry Just make sure you clean off one side of the brush so that you don't deposit too much color onto the nail. Now we're going to be working in the opposite direction, sort of going across the nail, just like this. And you may want to go a little higher. That's completely up to you. Your design is completely up to you. So we're going to put a little bit of that color on and just bring it on. Bring it over. Just lay down the groundwork. I'm going to go back in and we're going to make it look nice and neat. So I'm just going to just smooth that out a little bit and right now we're just laying down the groundwork. And you can see we have a little bit of that second color peeking out just at the top just right there. I'm going to pick up some more nail polish that Black Cherry by Milani and I'm going to continue. And always, always paint your nail in the same direction each time. So don't go back and forth, just paint in one direction. And make sure you get your edges. And we're going to let that dry. Just a little bit. I'm just going to continue. I'm going to go back in and make my area here just a little bit wider. Just bring over that purple color just a little bit more. Just like that. Okay guys, now we're going to be working on some of the finishing touches. And this nail polish I have here, this is a silver nail polish. This is called Finger Paints. And the name of the color is Easel Come, Easel Go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some detail work on the nail. We're going to start drawing in the lines that help create that geometric design. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using this is one of the um, nail art brushes that I kept after I used all the products. 
and um, this really helps a lot so I don't have to really keep buying all the other colors all I need to do is just take this brush and simply just dip it into the color that I want to create nail art with and um, once I finish using that particular color I clean it off and then I'll use it again so I'm going to load up the brush but don't don't have the product dripping off you just want to get enough on the brush so that you can create some nice uh, nice lines so we're going to start by creating our first line right uh, right across so I'm going to get a camera view and to make sure that uh, you can always fix these lines that here that are not so straight so another thing I want to tell you guys I love working with these practice fingers because these practice fingers allow you to manipulate the finger as if it was your own client's finger and uh, I just like it for that I really love it for that so now I'm going to start laying down these lines so that we can finish up our nail so starting way over at the edge and with a steady hand bring it all the way over picking up a little more polish see that and we're actually finishing up or evening out that line that was there that wasn't so straight after we laid down the polish okay picking up a little more silver nail polish we're going to bring this line right up here just going to draw it upward creating that geometric design I'm going to go back in and just kind of smooth it out there you go and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw one more line and it's going to start from here and just go all the way down center right here and I'm going to bring my line all the way down just like that doesn't have to be perfect you just want to keep your line straight and let me just bring that down and there you go so what we're going to do now is using our nail dotting tool I'm going to pick up a little bit of the silver nail polish let me get that in the yeah. and I'm going to create two dots in each section of our geometric design and all you need is a little bit pick up the first bit dot it off a little bit you can even practice before you get started okay so we're going to begin I'm going to put two dots here right at the top, right here on this pink section, just like that. Okay. And we're going to go back in and we're going to create two dots right here. Go back and I'm going to fix this dot, make it look a little more visible. Picking up a little bit more, I'm going to create two dots right along here. Just like that. And we want to create two more right in here. You can place them any place that you like. I'm going to put this off to the side. And this is our finished nail. It's very quick and it's very easy. I do recommend that you let each section dry before you move on to the next. And once it's all dry, then you can lay down your lines and then you can put in your dots using your dotting tool. This is the nail we just completed and this is the nail I completed earlier.
And if you want, if they don't look enough alike for you, you can always go back in and make it look a little perfect. For example, the line here looks a little thicker than it does here. And I'm going to just go back in, <clears throat> make this line look just a little thicker. Same thing here, I'm going to touch up just a little bit. Okay, and that's it guys, that's it. That's our first uh, video that we've done for the geometric nail. If you're interested, I'll do more geometric designs for you, or we can move on to some other um, creative designs. I've got quite a few I'd love to show you. Let me know what you think about this video, and uh, I'll answer you as quickly as I can, okay? So you all, you take care, and you be well, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.